All right, what's up guys? It is Josh back with another video. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how you can actually add your own shakes to your YouTube videos, whether it's impacts, transition shakes, all that stuff. And I'm going to be covering that in this video. Quickly before I actually get into it though, I just want to say a lot of you guys, about 70% are not subscribed to the channel yet. So make sure to drop a sub is 100% free for you guys to do. And you can change your mind at a later date. But with that being said, I hope you guys do enjoy the video and I will see you guys on my PC. All right, guys, I'm inside of After Effects, which is actually the software we're going to be using for this video. I have been switching it up recently and been doing After effects for a lot of stuff so yeah if you are making a lot of content videos and you want to actually put a lot of time and effort into your videos and edit them I would definitely recommend after effects because it gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of things you can actually do to the videos themselves so pretty much what I'm gonna be doing guys is I'm gonna be finding some sort of sample intro that I have and uh, the main focus of this video is just gonna be like everything in terms of shakes so for example let's get something random let's go back to the good old days back when we were having our prime setup look at that it was crazy at the time i remember this all right so now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna be showing you how to do an impact shake so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find some sort of random song so let's say that you're doing some sort of intro and you want to have it start i don't even know so you want to have like a beat drop or something like that we're gonna find the main beat drop so that's actually gonna be here so we're gonna add a marker here for convenience that's n on my keyboard that's my key bond we're actually going to trim it down right here so then it goes up like this so let's say that we strike a pose right here okay this is gonna be a bit of a meme edit honestly i'm gonna be showing you how to do like an impact for a meme edit so pretty much right here we can see this is like a little video that I was doing for like thumbnail posing, if that makes sense. So I could send it to Dom and he could make a thumbnail with it. But pretty much. <laughs> okay, this is going to end up being super funny once we actually get it finished. So we can see right here, this is where we want our shake. So we're, I'm going to add a marker here too. Uh, we're going to select our top layer and press Control alt y And then we're going to trim it down by pressing Control shift d And uh, we're actually just going to have this adjustment layer last right here. And only for a bit so then we'll do just control shift d and delete all these perfect all right so all we got to do is we're just going to click on our adjustment layer that we actually created go to animation go to apply animation preset and then what we're going to do is we're going to apply this impact content preset that i have and we're just going to select all these keyframes right here and we can see that there's a keyframe before here it's keyframe all before here we're actually going to have it so it starts in the second keyframe so we can see if we go back to this frame, there's nothing. And then all of a sudden we can see all the shaking and nonsense starting on this frame right here. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like with the full thing. So it's just like a nice like little impact shake with a Y shake and then like a tilt shake, some flicker and a little bit of a lens blur. And it looks pretty clean if you're doing like these meme edits or you're doing like a content video where you have like a B drop in your intro or you're just like, what's up guys? And you want to have like that big impact on your what's up guys, but emphasis on that. Uh, this would be perfect for you. This is going to be in the Google Drive in the description, by the way. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do that. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to find another sample like intro content thing. So let's say let's an another throwback right here. I don't even know when this is from. This is from like July. So here's here's an intro that I have from a video from July, just like this. And I am actually going to fit it to scale. Sorry. Bit unprepared. So this is me. I don't even know what I was doing. Oh, I was syncing the audio. Uh, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to add an adjustment layer between the separation and the two. This isn't really part of the shake process, but I'll just quickly show you. you just go to apply animation preset and then I'll, ha I'll throw some transition presets down below because why not? Um, you can do some sort of swipe right or whatever you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a zoom out rotate. That way we can add a shake rotate to it. It's like a transition shake after. So we got this little thing right here and the cool Cool, cool thing about After Effects is we have our graph editor and the cool thing about this is we can actually have our graph rotated afterwards by itself with actually without actually having to you know add an s underscore shake if that makes sense so for here if we wanted to have it shake we can bring this up and what that'll do is it'll have like a little mini I don't even know like it'll do a nice little shake towards the very end if, if that makes sense and if you want it to be a bit more smooth you just have it like this and it'll do a nice little subtle shake and we can drag this out if we want to have it a bit longer 
have it maybe go up at the beginning and then progressively kind of slow down right here. That makes sense? So that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, but if we want to actually have it be a bit more subtle, we can adjust it. So it does that little mini shake, right? I don't know if you guys can actually tell the difference, but then what I'm also gonna do is I'm going to do the exact same thing, but just have it with the zoom. Just be progressively zooming out just like that. But that's pretty much how you do that. Um, I know a lot of people do their uh, transition shakes with um, S underscore shake, but I think it just makes it a bit more complicated to actually be using something completely separate to do that. But that's actually how you can do transition shakes. And there's not really many other shakes that you can actually implement other than like beat shakes or anything like that. But to be honest, you actually can just like use the same impact shake for your beat shakes. Maybe if you want to turn down the amplitude or frequency a bit, you can do that. But uh, that's actually how you can do that. I hope you guys did enjoy this little mini tutorial on how you can actually add shakes to your videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Presets will be in the description. Uh, I'll have some transition stuff, my impact stuff, all that will be in the description. Like I said, though, like, comment, subscribe. A lot of you guys, about 70% not subscribed to the channel yet. So make sure to do so. Leave some comments down below for what you want to see on the channel in terms of tutorials over the next couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, see you guys in a new video. Peace out, boys.